So I thought my, uh, my work as program chair was done, and then I uh, sort of remembered that it's a tradition uh, of the outgoing uh, program chair uh, to give a kind of a report about the conference. And uh, I guess for better or for worse, it's supposed to be funny, too. Uh, <laughs> so the talk is half, half serious, half funny, but I'm not going to tell you which is which. So you can decide for yourselves. And this is, uh, <laughs> had nothing to do with how unfunny it is, so it's, uh, except for the last slide. Um, so anyway, first of all, I want to start off with my own thank yous uh, to Steve Myers, who, uh, without whom this conference would not have happened. So please give him a, another round of applause for the fantastic job. Um, I would also like to thank, take the opportunity to thank uh, Chavav, my program co-chair. Uh, it was great working with you, and uh, of course, without you, it wouldn't have happened either. So thank you. And I meant to also thank, I know he's not here, but uh, Matt Robshaw, who was uh, the program co-chair with me in uh, 2016, uh, also was great in showing me the ropes and, uh, and, and guiding me through the process. Uh, also, it's a great opportunity to thank the uh, excellent program committee. I don't know how many are in the audience, but we should all thank them for their efforts. And uh, the sub-reviewers as well, uh, they're all listed in the proceedings and you can take a look. There, there were many papers submitted, many reviews that were needed, and so we re really relied on all their effort to make the uh, program you have today. So we can thank them as well. Uh, part of the tradition is to give some kind of a statistic uh, about the uh, conference, and I, and I, you know, I guess I didn't want to invest too much time in this. Uh, so, but I wanted to talk about the number of submissions. So this year, actually, it turns out there were 311 submissions, which is a record uh, for crypto. It's not a record for an IACR conference, although it's pretty close, but it is a record for crypto. And it's actually up by 14% from last year and up by 84% from uh, crypto 1999. So 1999, of course, was uh, the year that I first attended crypto, so it's the one I benchmark mark all future cryptos by. Um, but anyway, it's up 84% since 1999. And if we look actually at the growth in the number of submissions, uh, you know, there's a little bit of fluctuation uh, early on since 1999, but in recent years, it's really just been steadily increasing. Uh, it's actually something to think about. This is a serious uh, moment just because um, I know the security community is facing this issue as well with the large increase in the number of submissions, how to deal with that. The program committees have to be larger. Um, it's just something to, to keep in mind. And, and I started wondering a little bit about why uh, there's been this growth in the number of submissions. And I, I hit upon at least one theory, which, which seems to correlate pretty well with the rise in, in submissions. And that's just the growth in uh, studies of obfuscation. <laughs> um, so actually, it's very interesting. If you look back uh, at the historical data, so from, uh, from 1999 to 2013, there were essentially zero papers about obfuscation. I know there was one in 2001. Maybe you can see it there in the noise. Um, I think there was one in 2013 as well. Um, 2014 uh, through 2016, I actually don't have the complete data. I only have the number of um, uh, accepted papers on obfuscation. Uh, so that's why there's a star. But you can see there's a small handful of papers beginning uh, in 2014. And this year, the situation was, uh, was markedly different. Uh, we had 308 papers uh, dealing with obfuscation in one way or the other. Um, so that was really a, a, quite a challenge for the program committee to decide uh, which ones to take. The other three, by the way, were on blockchain. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> uh, as for the acceptance rate, so we had 72 papers accepted. Uh, there were two merges, so we have 70 talks. This is a 23% uh, acceptance rate. Uh, I'll just point out right, that this is a little bit lower, actually consciously so. It's a little bit lower than what it was in 2013 through 2015, although it's higher than kind of the historical norm from, from 2011 to 2012. So, you know, that's around, the, I think, maybe the number of where, where we should be, you know, plus or minus. So I'm just going to conclude. I, I, I think I have a couple of minutes left. I was just going to say, you know, when I was a, uh, a student, I guess, it was uh, sort of a dream to be crypto uh, program chair. I don't, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but, but, you know, as a student, the process was very mysterious, actually. And, um, you know, having been the program co-chair in 2016, now in 2017, I got to learn a lot about how things work from the, from the uh, inside, and I thought maybe I could share and make it a little bit more transparent and tell you a little bit about how the, the crypto conference works, just so people can, can know uh, how, things really, how things really are. So first of all, you know, it's amazing that it's an honor to serve on the PC. So whenever you ask people to be on the PC, they immediately uh, accept and they're willing to put in the work and the hours and nobody turned us down 
uh, for the invitations. We had no trouble recruiting this, uh, uh, this uh, 45 person PC or whatever it was. So that was really uh, very interesting to see. And so if any of you were asked, you know, please uh, do the same and, and accept immediately. Now it was also great to see uh, actually, that, that as a chair, you can follow this stuff. So every PC member submitted all their reviews well in advance. It was really <laughs> quite incredible. It allowed a lot of time for measured discussion of the various papers. Uh, we didn't have anybody submitting their reviews after the decisions were made. Um, <laughs> so it was really quite incredible to see the effort that the committee, that the committee and the community... <laughs> no, no, this is how it really works. I, this is what I learned, actually. And it's also quite impressive. We have people with expertise in many different areas. And so it turns out, uh, actually, that all the reviews are correct. Um, and, and it was really, I, I tracked it. And you know, every time that somebody claimed that a result was trivial, it was backed up extensively. Uh, when a result was wrong, they clearly pointed out the error. Uh, and, and if a result you know, was claimed to appear in a previous uh, paper by the reviewer, they put an explicit pointer uh, to the exact place in their paper where it was done. And in fact, some reviewers were very thorough. They did all three right, in one review, and it was really, I, I think, a very thorough, very thorough job, actually, by many of the reviewers. Now, um, you know, they didn't tell me this, actually, when I agreed to be the, uh, the chair, but I, I, I guess I just assumed that uh, PC chairs are, are required, actually, to read uh, all the submitted papers. And so I actually, I, I just got through 2016. Um, <laughs> And so I, I'm, I'm, I'll get through to 2017 by next crypto, I promise. So, um, so just to, you know, one other thing, I learned a little bit about the organization, and, and Steve really gets a lot of the credit for this. I, I, it was amazing to see how things work, right? So all the clothing is ordered in the exact sizes and colors that everybody wants so that everybody gets the exact shirt that, that, they, that they would like to have. I, I don't know how, how that happened. Uh, and also, you know, as part of the planning, we make sure that the invited speakers are confirmed <laughs> well in advance of the, of the conference so that there's, there's no possibility of a, of a mix-up. It's really uh, qu quite impressive. Uh, on, a, on a serious note, I, I guess I would just like to say that it, it was an honor serving as, as the chair, and on behalf of uh, Chovav and myself, uh, we hope you enjoy the program as much as we had fun putting it together. So, thank you.